Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone in the YouTubes. Today, we're going to be doing another tutorial for you guys. Um, we are live on Twitch right now, so if you are interested, you can go and follow me at Dogecoin28 on Twitch. Um, but yeah, uh, the tutorial we're doing today is going to be for modifications for your weapons and your gear and stuff like that so many people do not understand how this works so i'm doing just a single video on this alone we're going to go over modifying we're going to modify a little bit see if we can't get anything better just to kind of show you and whatnot we'll go over the best stats that you can get for a certain role and we will also show you stat transferring um, I do have some boots and whatnot that I can transfer stats to, but I probably won't because they're actually worse than the ones that I currently have on. But just to kind of give you an idea of how it works and whatnot. Um, so, stat transferring. Um, and modifying. Modifying your gun increases your stat rating. Which your stat rating, in turn, increases your gear rating. Your gear score. Um, the better the rolls, the higher your stat rating is going to go up. And you'll do more damage, more critical hit, whatever the, the, the add-ons are. Um, so if you are questioning what it is, um, if you go to your equipment bar right here. And if you go down to where the screwdriver, or not screwdriver, uh, wrench is, that's where you go to modify. Now, if you click on modify, again, it'll pop up everything that you need. So it shows your original stats, which will always be on your left-hand side, and then it shows your new stats after you click modify to get other stats and whatnot. And that'll always be on the right-hand side. If you're curious on what stats are better than others, just because a stat is full like this, like it has the full bar, meaning you get max value out of it, does not mean it's a better stat than some of the other ones that you may have on your gun or your armor, etc. The way to tell that, there's an exclamation mark, or, or I'm sorry, not an exclamation mark, a, a I. For information, basically. If you click on that, it'll give you a list of the best overall stats that you can have on that equipment in general. That being said, let's go over a little bit of it so you kind of understand. First off, damage. Damage, in general, is one of the best stats. As you can see. Um, so purples are the better stats. Purples are the ones that you want. But they are also extremely, extremely, extremely rare, rare. So you may or may not have to roll, you know, a ridiculous amount of times. You may go through 200, like you see at the bottom. I have 200 of the coding. You may have to go through 200 of the coding, and you may not get a purple. Now, I got lucky I got armor pierce as purple. Um, but yes, so damage is overall the one of, if not the best stats you can get. If you get a purple damage one, keep it. And I will show you here in a second how to keep a certain stat locked on the gun so that when you're rolling new stats, you're not losing that stat. It stays. Crit damage, armor pierce are actually pretty good. Um, number. Evie, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. YouTube, like I said, we are live on Twitch, so. Um, I personally like crit hit. Crit hit and armor pierce I like. I like them because I aim for the head a lot, and I aim for the weak spots a lot. And you're more, you're more likely to get a critical hit if you're aiming for their weak spot or their head than just their body and whatnot. It's just how it works. Um, next up is blue. 
So blue would be the second best. And as you can see, again, on my gun currently, I have armor piercing blue all the way up, which would give me 61 extra rating. And again, how you tell that is you just look at the stats. So my critical damage is maxed, which is 6.7. And you can kind of see here, it tells you what you can get if you hit that, that number or that, that current stat. So 6.7 is the highest for blue crit damage. 30 to 43 extra rating. Of course, if it's the highest, you get the max amount. So I get 43. Same with Armor Pierce. Armor Pierce purple is four, or 27, and it goes 22 to 30, so you have to kind of guess. So I'm around the 90s, 90, 95 for extra rating on my gun. But yes, that is how you tell the best stats and whatnot. Now, to lock a current or a couple of current stats that you want to keep, you have to click on this box here. Now, when you click on it, you will notice that it pops up with one of the cores. You have to have these cores in order to lock that stat. If you do not have them, it will not lock the stat. Now, if you want to lock two stats, you would click on the second stat that you want to lock, which would be my armor pierce, because I like that. So I would click on that, and it says that you need the super core. You can only lock two stats. You cannot lock more than two. So if you're going to do it, lock your two best stats or the two stats that you want to keep because these are not cheap. They're like 20,000 gold or you have to get really lucky. Or right now with the Island Trek, you can buy them for like 58 coins, I believe. But yes, that, that is how you would lock your, your stats that you want to keep on the gun. So I have two of them, as you can see, and I have 200 of the coatings. You can make these. They're fairly cheap. They're like one of every refined material and then uh, four of the membranes that you get. When you are locking stats, if you notice, the goal or the silver amount that you have to pay to modify will go up. So it starts out as 500. And if you lock one stat, it goes up to 2,000. And if you lock the second one, it'll go up to 5,000. You, you roll, you know, you roll the chance. Again, you could be spending a lot of gold on this, and it absolutely gives you nothing. But those two stats are going to stay. So right now I'm going to click it just to kind of show you. And it will ask this if you keep one stat and whatnot, or if there was one stat that you don't want on your new gun, it'll ask you, are you sure you're okay with this? Just to confirm if you're okay. So I'm okay with that. We got kind of a bad roll. We kept the two stats, and we only got damage increased against uh, humans. I personally don't want that, so I'm not going to put it and, and replace it. However, I do have another gold, so I will roll one one more time. So here we go. And again, I didn't get lucky. It wasn't a good roll, so that's fine. I'll roll it a couple more times. I'll roll it two more on this one, and then I will show you... Uh, armors so we'll roll one time and we didn't really get anything nice everything's pretty much the same or better so we'll roll one more and we actually got better now if you see i have two purples on my gun now i have armor pierce and base increased damage that means that this gun and any weapon that you use in general will have the base damage increase up by 2.4%. That is really good. And again, if you click on this, it will show you. That is 164 extra rating on your gun. That's that's really, really good. It's not max, but it's really good. So I will replace my stats. And I got a little bit higher. I'm at 281. Now I will show you a little bit about the armors as well. I'm actually not going to do these because I actually have uh, some... Purples that I use. How the fuck you get a purple doing a tutorial? God damn it. Listen, I'm just lucky. All right, so I'm going to just roll a couple here just to kind of show you what to expect and whatnot. Again, a lot of this really isn't good. Um, the armor and the crit resist I like and the damage resist I kind of like, uh, the weakness. 
Um, but yeah, we are gonna kind of roll. So we'll just roll a couple. Again, I have the extra and I have the silver. So as you can kind of see, I'm getting very, very, very low ratings right now. Which again, is fine. It's gonna happen. You're not gonna get lucky every time. It's just RNG. So we'll roll about four more times, maybe. See, this one was kind of good. Max armor increase is pretty good, but everything else is kind of iffy. All right, we're just getting those. This one, honestly, is not that good. Again, you want to compare and whatnot. You may get, like, 150 and your, your original stats are 154, let's say, like mine. And let's say I were to get a 150. It may be something really good that you want to keep. So taking that hit, minus 4 on your, your gear score, is worth it in the end. Because it'll come back around and actually be really good for you. But as you can see, we're kind of rolling just crap ones right now. We got 40s, 60s, 80s, 50... Uh, 93, which actually the max HP isn't that bad, but that rating is really low. We'll just keep going a little bit longer. Trying to get a good one. I don't think so. I think I spent all my luck on the, uh, the AK. Uh, we're drawing all right, one more. Let's see. Ah, no. But yeah, you, you get the point. Again, it costs 500 silver to do it. It costs five of the coatings. Again, the coatings can be made by one of each of the refined materials. And for the membranes, you get 10 per craft. So you can do two rolls. Now, real quick to finish off the video. I want to go over stat transferring. Because a lot of people do not understand this. Now, I bought, sh I made shoes. They're not very good, but just to kind of show you how it works. So, if you click on stat transfer, it'll show you the original equipment that you're going to transfer the stats over to the new equipment. Make sure that whatever you're transferring over to is in the right hand side. The stuff that you're transferring to the new stuff has to be in the left hand side. Do not make this mistake. I have done it before. Sometimes you may do it and you have the equipment that you want to put the transferred stuff on in the equipment that would actually transfer over. Do not do that. Trust me. You will flip a lid just like me. I did it once. I haven't done it since because it was a nightmare. But we, we crafted these. Now, if I wanted to transfer the other stats to these, I would just go, I would click on it, and it'll pull up whatever equipment that I have that's kind of the same. So shoes, boots, whatever. doesn't have to be the same level, just as long as it's the same category. And then I would hit select, and they would pop up here. So all these stats will go to this equipment. So if I were to hit transfer, it would ask me if I'm okay with that. I would have to wait a few seconds just because it lets you read it. Then I would hit yes, and it would all transfer over. Of course, again, these are better than these, so I'm not going to. But this is your tutorial on basically modifying. Again, a lot of people ask me all the time. A lot of people are confused about it. I'm hoping that this can help you out. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys are questioning and whatnot about PvE, PvP, crafting, stuff like that, and I will help you out. I am more than willing to make another video on it. Thank you, and have a lovely day.